Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Marie. I am an independent stylist with Color Street and today I am going to do a mani using a pedicure. This is Baton Rouge. Looks like it's from 2021. It uh it's a pedicure, but I'm using it as a mani. And this is Shangri-La and it's brand new uh, this year that they re-released it. They actually really released it with another set. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I am going to see about doing kind of a little bit of a mixed mani with it today um, over some of the Baton Rouge. All right, so let's get started. If you're new to Color Street, it shows you made in the USA, 100% real nail polish strips. They are 95% dry. And then they take about 30 minutes. I give it about 45 minutes to cure. They come with an alcohol prep pad and a nail file and instructions here. <clears throat> and then your strips that shows you that it is a base coat color and a top coat all in one and they're amazing so let me open this one add it. how is everyone doing how was your fourth Ours was pretty laid back. I don't do fireworks. I like to be home before it's dark and they start because of my dogs. Okay. Get that red. It's, it's, this is a solid, or a, they put it down as a cream, probably. Um, oops, wrong one. Yeah, as a cream cream solid which is the same and then obviously this is a glitter and it's a chunky glitter <clears throat> so I am can't really usually double these if you have long nails um, even with short nails it might be a little bit difficult to do um, just because they're not double-sided or double-ended like the petties. Oh, I am just in a red mood. I know 4th of July is over. This is not for 4th of July. I just am in the mood for red. So if you're new, you want to size them up. See which one is going to fit your nails the best. And there goes some fireworks. Um... Yeah, so see that, I mean, you probably, most likely can't get two nails out of one, <clears throat> one strip. Hopefully these are going to work. They'll have to, right? Yeah, I'll make them work. So, I think this one for my pinky. those two so it has a clear protective coating that you take off and discard and then you peel the part with a silver tab I do this anchor method majority of the time <clears throat> excuse me and you want to get it close to your cuticle but not on your cuticle as possible this is pretty sheer but oh it's pretty so pretty and you can just throw that other part away wow I have I know I've worn this on my toes I just haven't put it on my fingernails that I can recall. 
I've never worn Shangri-La because it was retired and then with them just uh, just uh, bringing it back. Let's hope this will go on fine. Yeah, a little mishap. That's well, really pretty. I don't know why I've just been wanting to wear just red. So I don't know, I'm not 100% sure I'll put the Shangri-La on. I might just put it on one and see what it looks like on top of it. Just thought I would do that. And I do have the Orly Bonder on that um, I guess a lot of people have been using it. And I did use it on my last Manny and actually it held up really good really well this kind of looks like it might not fit all the way but I need to make sure they've got the thumb well that's big and then my middle finger I figured I would use that and I thought my ring finger let's try it <clears throat> we shall just try it anyway can always stretch it a little bit if I need to. So there's, oh, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Oh, did you see the polka dot? I can't even remember the names of the sets that came out this morning. First, it was going to just be the um, hunger one that's like a orangey gold kind of which is really pretty and then just before launch time they sent out an email saying that they were launching this polka dot bikini for bikini um day today and this is really cute. If you didn't get one, you should snag it up. It's limited, you know, so once they're gone, tech, usually once they're gone, they're gone. Sometimes it has been changing, but there is a limit to per order <clears throat> of the polka dot one. And then <gasps> Thursday is another launch. Oh my goodness. You should see it. If you have a stylist, hit her up because she's got to know about it. Wow, this is really sheer. So if you've got long nails, you can see through that. I wish they would bring this back. This Baton Rouge, or do they? Did they? No, I think the they're still petty, or I can't remember if it retired. There's so many sets now, I just can't even keep track of everything. 100%. Okay. That is so pretty. So, do you rather watch... I mean, do you prefer to watch mixed manis or like solid colors or or what? Comment down below just to help me out, just so I know what you prefer or if it doesn't matter. Speaking of commenting down below, also, if you're new here, welcome. And... If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. And if you hit the icon bell, you'll be notified when I upload a new Manny or a new video. I guess new Manny video. I'm thinking about adding some other kinds of videos on, but I haven't decided for sure yet, so I'm not gonna say 
much more than that. Oh, this is, this red is so gorgeous. So pretty. So pretty. It's just a red, red. And I absolutely am loving it. So if you do use like Orly Bonder or a base coat, which you don't have to, I'm just doing it to see what all the hype is about. I just wanted to see. Um, but if you do use anything under, just know that if you don't get it on the first time, you most likely will not be able to pick it up, pick the strip up, um, and apply it again. It'll, it'll stick and rip and it's not going to happen. So if you just start wearing color street, you want to for sure not use like a base coat or anything underneath until you've got a real good hang of applying the strips you know the size make sure you have the right size and and it's in the right spot or you're gonna have a lot of frustration trying to apply them just a thought oh my goodness it's so pretty i know i say that with everyone i i know Let's see if this is well, this is going to have to fit my pointer. And you always want to do your thumbs last. Um, most people, and even, including myself, say start with your pinky and work your way this way. It doesn't matter what order, really, you do them in. Just you want to do your thumbs last. Some people do them first, but they use the tools to... Um, you know, adjust if they have anything hanging over to cut them off. My eyes. Ah. See what I mean? It's hard to pick it back up. Oh, I got it. For some reason, I'm having problems seeing this one to lay it down. It's just my eyes have been strange since COVID. Come on now, come on. Oh, that's not even gonna cover. Well, that one, that is okay. I will put Shangri-La on that nail. But I think I'm also going to patch it a little bit. Just a little, right on the edge. I don't have to put Shangri-La. Um, I can put like the nail strengthener on and it will hide any seams if there's a seam there, which there's a tiny seam. So, it's not super noticeable. I mean, no one's really gonna notice it unless they're right up on my nail, or on my finger, on nail. Okay. Ah, I just, I can't decide if I want to put Shangri-La on or not. I could just do it like on those two, on these two maybe, I don't know. They will stretch just a little. I just didn't, I wasn't thinking stretching on my other finger, the pointer, when I put it on for some reason. I'm left-handed, so sometimes it's hard for my right hand to do it. This little piece right here. There we go. Oh. Okay, 
decision decision so I'm going to take those out put these in um, I just I can't I don't know oh my goodness I don't know if I want to put chamber long I think I want to put it on at least like my ring finger or this maybe ring and this one since I have the little seam because that will bug me. I mean, I could put Claire's Day on. Claire's Day, if you don't know, is just like putting a clear top coat on. You apply it just like these strips. Just in the package, you get 32 instead of 16. So that's nice. Okay. I almost want to leave it, but that seam... I'm thinking if I put my top coat on, it's going to not show it. I think, I think I'm going to leave it. <laughs> it's so pretty and I was in such a mood for just red that I feel like I just need to just wear the red. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Should I have added Shangri-La? Of my accent now or just left this all red one color let me know what you think oh it's so pretty I know it's summertime but I just in the mood for this for some reason so pretty and it's such a shiny red I really do like solids a lot. Um, I kind of prefer them oh, no. over, oh, see what I mean? You can tear it, but you know, I can fix this. Um, oh, no, no. Um, solids. I prefer solids over um, glitter. I took off some of the orly bonder, but it's okay. So I'm going to cut this little piece off. What I can do is put this back on. My thumbnail is so short that so I can't even get something straight. I'm so horrible with straight lines and stuff like that. Okay, put this on and I will just kind of shape this part of it with my scissors. Hopefully it's taken off. No, didn't take off all the silver, so I gotta kind of adjust it a little. See, there's always a way around whatever it is. It just is. And if it doesn't fit right, of course we can fix it, trim it. Okay, so thank goodness I put that on the correct side. So here we go. Yeah. Perfect. See that? So if you ever mess up one end, especially if it's like a petty set, you can always fix it. And you just don't want to use your other thumb as a tool. Because then you mess it up. And done. There we go. There we go, Baton Rouge. What do you think? It is so pretty. I'm so happy with it. Yes. All right. Uh, thanks for watching and take care till next time. Ciao.